Hey, and we're here with another Bagged and Board Bite brought to you by BaggedandBoardcast.com. But this time, we're bringing you Jonathan Hickman's Fantastic Four, number 607. Art by Chris... Giuseppe Camoncoli. Thank you for pronouncing a You're tough welcome. name to pronounce. That, that's all I do on the show. <laughs> you do it well. Pronunciations. I uh, enjoyed this book and haven't been... I've been picking Fantastic Four for quite a while on our list. You segment. love it. Uh... But I don't think talk about Paul it. is actually drinking out of a Fantastic Four pint glass right now, too. You don't know that. But now you do. I could have changed my shirt to a Fantastic Four t-shirt, too. But I Editing! <laughs> we're, we're, no, we're not doing that. That would have been amazing. Too much work. But what isn't... It too, would, have been, would have been fantastic, though. It would have been. It would have been also too much work for Mr. Fantastic to come in into a country, Wakanda, and fix their economic system. Because... Does they need, do they need to do that? Fuck his business. No, he, he doesn't, doesn't need he doesn't to do that. Know. Because T'Chilla has his shit down. Reed, stop being such an industrialist. Stop being such a, uh, such a ragged capitalist. A colonialist, maybe. Yeah. Uh, realize that Africa doesn't need the white man's help all the time. Black Panther's diversified. <laughs> he is. Bonds. He's bought bonds. Stocks. He got stocks. Got Overhead. You know, That's a word. Overhead of... Yes, like running the country. Paul well, is an economics major. But he's also diversified money. in getting the, even buying up the uh, United States debt. Thank you, Wakanda. We, we really appreciate that. You're we a do. superhero. You are our superhero. Because that means China doesn't own all our debt. Wakanda, thank you for the 5%. <laughs> Business! Um, <laughs> it, it's disgusting here. Well, I which don't... was a lot of fun. <laughs> I liked that book probably more than the undead zombie uh, skeleton things, which I just thought was weird and stupid. It's thrown in there for that weird kind of action that you normally get for a uh, Fantastic Four yeah. book, because I haven't read Fantastic Four it's in a while. It's not science fiction weird, though. It's It's going mystic. into more mystic, which yeah. is kind of factoring into that whole Black Panther thing, because they're getting away from that science technology business stuff. And also the pirates that they fought, and that they brought back with the dance slot uh, Fantastic Four issue with the Amazing Spider-Man, but those are books that I don't like from the Fantastic and Four. And Paul loves Fantastic Four. I need science and economic discussion. And it's delivered in spades here, because what's happened is all the vibranium in uh, Wakanda has gone inert, which is tough shit for them, because that's what they really depend on for Merton. But as we learned that, you know, T'Chilla, Black Panther, had it all planned out because he knew this kind of day might come, so they diversified, as we talked about earlier, because Doctor Doom, you know, took the verbanium and was powering his Doom suit with it, and that's that's why Black Panther's like, nope, I'm going to inertify all that, not a word, but it's okay. It's used uh, for science here. <laughs> science. And now that uh, that has happened, apparently the great hunt is on. I don't know what that means. Okay. But it's maybe good. it's not a good thing because this panther spirit of Africa is going to mess up shit in Wakanda. And they have been. Are you looking forward to that number 608 when that comes out? Uh, I am because it's just, you know, the momentum of this book is happening. Mm-hmm. And it's the first time I think we're getting, you know, sequential stories again in each issue. Not those one and done. Not those one and dones, even though this is coming from something earlier. So it's, I kind of want to see it to the end. I'm going to definitely read all the Hickman books until it's over. October, I think, is when he's done. Shut your mouth. Sorry. It's never going to be over. But unfortunately, this has to come to a conclusion. And if you liked it... Like it down below and subscribe to us. Mm-hmm. Also follow us over on Facebook and bangboard.com. We do mm-hmm. a podcast. It's on the iTunes.